Thousands of years ago, the first men battled the White Walkers and defeated them. I want to fight for the side the fight for the living. Legend has it that more than 8,000 years ago, Westeros underwent the bleakest of winters known as the Long Night. This winter lasted an entire generation, and while seasons in Westeros can be quite sporadic, this was no mere glitch. Something far more sinister was at work. Descending from the lands of always winter, a pretty damn terrifying race marched on the south, bringing with them eternal cold and darkness. In that darkness, the White Walkers came for the first time. Riding their dead horses, these others, who we all know as the White Walkers, marched with packs of pale spiders as big as hounds and an army of men brought back from the dead, the Whites. They were touched by White Walkers. That's why they came back. That's why their eyes turned blue. Plowing their way through the population of Westeros, the slain were themselves resurrected, swelling the White Walkers' ranks. The battle for the dawn had begun. Legend tells of a hero taking a perilous journey to reach the elusive children of the forest. This ancient magical race knew the secrets of defeating the White Walkers and helped the first men on the Night's Watch drive them back up north, finally breaking the endless winter. The collective fear of the White Walkers' return saw men, children, and allegedly even giants join forces to build the wall. The giants bringing strength and the children of the forest infusing the wall with powerful magic in order to prevent the White Walkers from crossing. However, over time this event faded into nothing more than children's fables. Reports of strange happenings are ignored and for generations the southern kingdoms mocked these legends. The northerners are superstitious people. Suggesting they were nothing more than an attack from a fierce wildling tribe. But as we all now know, this threat is very real. The White Walkers are coming and bringing winter with them. Well, Sir Dubal, uh, Nymeria would, would win because... Which one? You or the... My Nymeria! Right, right, Lady, right. Lady Nim would win. Let's look at Cersei first. She is armed the Faith Militant to carry out her dirty deeds. The Faith and the Crown are the two pillars that hold up this world. One collapses, so does the other.